Indoor dining throughout the state remains closed for at least another two weeks. A local casino has made the decision to reopen food and bar services tomorrow. Our Lauren Coomer is live at Gun Lake. And how are they actually doing this, Lauren? Yeah, Doug, since Gun Lake Casino is situated on tribal land, they're not required to follow state guidelines, only federal ones. The casino says since they voluntarily decided to close their indoor dining services and bar services eight weeks ago, they've been monitoring risk level and case numbers and have determined it's now safe to reopen once again. You know, we were... Um, uh, one of the first, if not the first, tribal casino in the country um, to to voluntarily close back in March. Um, you know, we've been um, a, a very good partner, ensuring that the community stays safe. It's been eight weeks since Gun Lake Casino made the decision to voluntarily close its indoor dining and bar services. The tribe has their their own health and human services department, who work very close with um, with local county officials and state officials, as well as federal officials, and um, we we constantly are monitoring the numbers and, and the, the data um, that, that's going out there. And they say that data has shown them that it's safe to reopen both cafe and buffet services as of Friday, with safety precautions, of course. The restaurants are at half capacity, um, so not only have we reduced the number of bodies, but we've pulled out a bunch of tables and seats. Um, all the tables are spaced out at least six feet apart from each other, um, so th that's been in effect um, uh, for, for throughout the entire summer. In addition, the casino will have team members serving the buffet instead of self-serve to prevent spread in that area. But the biggest difference guests will see. We're going to be requiring reservations um, to help control the, 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 the guests coming so um, you know there's not guests waiting in line and, and whatnot. In just the food and beverage area, the casino says they employ around 250 to 300 people who will be able to come back to work, with the exception of those who have already been helping with extra cleaning efforts. We're very aware and conscious and, and mindful of, of, the, of the pandemic and want to be the, um, uh, the, the the best ambassador to the community and, and do everything we've, we, we can to protect. Cafe and buffet will reopen tomorrow, but again, reservations are required. Bar services will also resume tomorrow and will follow normal regulations with last call at 1.30 a.m. Reporting live in Wayland, Lauren Coomer, Fox 17 News. All right. Thank you for that.